me tell you one more story. You know, when we did Batman Begins, we never thought we were going to go to three big man Batman movies. And what was probably three movies to you was 12 years of our lives. I really started with Chris Nolan phoning me up one day of the blue and going, would I like to do a Batman movie? And number one, I wanted to work with Chris, of course. And who doesn't want to do a Batman movie? But I started to have doubts really early on and I told him that I didn't know how to split my personality so severely that I could be the Dark Knight and at the same time the elegant Bruce Wayne. And Chris's solution was really simple, of course. He said, phone your friend James Ian Howard because James is one of the most elegant men and elegant composers. And so the three of us went off to London and we did Batman begin. And soon after, I mean, it was successful enough that we got a phone call from the studio saying, could we do another one? But Chris does never do anything until he really has the idea. And so some time went by before he came over to my studio and he started to tell me about the Joker and he started to tell me about a character that was full of this punk attitude, full of anarchy and fearlessness. And curiously, the only character in the whole movie that always tells you the truth. And Mother Chris started to describe this sort of impossible, daring, high-wire act of acting. I said to him, who's going to play this character? And he said, oh, there's this young actor, this young actor called Heath Ledger. And Heath, of course, truly embodied this role like nobody else, and he put everything into it. And he was committed, and he was authentic, and he was fearless, and he would just sparkle from the screen. And just before we finished the movie, we got a call that our Heath had died. And my first reaction was to take, to tone the music down, to take out all the punk stuff, to take out the rust of razor blades across the strings, to take all the edge out of it, until I realized that the only way I could honor the man, and the only way I could honor this performance he had given, was to keep the edge, to keep the punk stuff, to keep the anarchy. And a while went by and Chris came to me and he said, let's make a trilogy because it's the only way we can go and finish this. And we did Dark Knight Rises and we found our sort of sense of adventure again and we found our inventiveness again. And we went to New York for our premiere and I remember it was an amazing premiere. The next day we got onto a plane for London to do our European premiere. And I remember arriving very early in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning in my apartment in London, straight off the plane when the phone rang and there was a journalist asking me what my reaction was to the tragedy, to the shooting that happened in a small town in Colorado while they were screening our movie, a small town in Colorado called Aurora. And I hadn't heard of this. I had none of us had heard of the shooting. We were on the plane all night long. And I said the only word that came to me which was devastated. And all day I was thinking about the victims, I was thinking about the loved ones that they left behind. And I was thinking about the word that I used, and that words don't describe what I feel. And so I phoned my friends in the choir that night, and I said, can we do a song, can we do a piece of music that is wordless, but it should feel like we're stretching our arms out across the Atlantic, and we're embracing the loved ones that are left behind in that small town in Colorado. And you know something? The world hasn't gotten any better. I thought I'd never have to go and do this piece again. But you look around us, you look at Paris, Brussels, London, Manchester, Syria. Every day, every day, you hear these tragedies occurring. But on this stage, if you look at this stage, musicians from all nations play, play from their hearts. And tonight, we want to play for you from our hearts. We want to stretch our arms out for you, Amsterdam. We are here for you. We want to look you in the eye and we want to play from our hearts. And this piece, ladies and gentlemen, is called Aurora.